Hi everyone, this is Hashni here. Welcome to Aspenaut Solutions. I am a guest star here and I did a couple of videos on interesting topics and uh, do watch them if you are not yet. And uh, today I am going to talk about uh, different features of performance analytics and reporting available in Kickstarter. And in other some of my previous videos I have talked about creating interactive dashboards and how to use uh, inform analytics feature and uh, estimate instant resolving time. And uh, today I'm going to talk about other uh, different features available, which is a text analytics widget and uh, instance spotlight. So when you see a the instance uh, table, you have different uh, fields available, and you use it in a uh, different reports such as instant state, instant category, and uh, priority of the instance. Uh, but there are some uh, fields which are unexplored and uh, which are not used much in reports which are like uh, the short description or description of the incident and uh, work notes of the incident so because the, these are basically text fields available in the instance so the text fields are not directly configurable or useful uh, to be used in reports so how to explore value from them and how to use them in uh, more effective reporting so for this there's a word cloud widget or which is a text analytics widget that can be used so this is available in performance analytics under the text analytics. So this basically is a word cloud which uh, extracts uh, the words from the short description of the instance. Uh, and uh, and um, so as it shows here, the size of each uh, word here uh, defines the number of occurrences of in the incidents. So this helps us to find the key issues that have been occurring in the instance. So it, with the uh, help of short description and not just based on the other structured fields. So as you can see, so the, uh, the more uh, occurred field was the performance and uh, the, the other one would be this SAP and email uh, and application and uh, server and each are defined with their uh, size. And um, so yeah, so this would, be, this would be pretty useful to find uh, key issues with the text of the incidents and um, try to help us focus on them. And also the other one that is available here, as you can see, is a trend line. So as you can see, it shows the top five uh, words that have been occurring and uh, on, um, it shows the trend on based on the time on, on how frequently it was occurred and how many have been occurred on each specific date. So I'm going to show you how uh, to create this dashboard with this uh, word cloud or text widget available. So first you have to see how this text widget. So you have the widgets module under performance analytics and you create a new widget. And here um, you need to select uh, the type text here uh, for this. And uh, word cloud is the only visualization available now in uh, text type fields. And uh, once you have this, you need to select the indicator. So here I'm um, focusing on the open instance and uh, look at the issues in the open instance. So that's why I have uh, used the number of open instance indicator. And uh, the other settings available is the field that you want to explore. So I've used the short description and uh, other fields are like description available. And this can change uh, based on the uh, indicators that you've selected here. And uh, also can have the setting for how many words should be displayed on this word cloud and uh, the number of words in the trend line as you can see uh, in the trend line here and the number of words that are available in the word cloud. So once you have this you can uh, just create the widget and uh, you can add it to a dashboard using you know add widget here and uh, select the performance analytics type and in the text type you can find the text widget you have created. So yeah so this is pretty useful to find um, to the key issues that have been reoccurring in instance and helps us to focus on them. And the other uh, feature that I want to talk about is Spotlight. So a uh, Spotlight uh, basically helps you to prioritize and focus on work uh, that and uh, you can define this work with multiple uh, weighted criteria. So instead of just uh, uh, having um, on just high priority instance or uh, you know uh, uh, like the critical incidents you can have multiple criteria that you can define and that uh, in some custom criteria based on the conditions that you want for your use case so uh, for example now here uh, i've used uh, an incidents uh, table and i'm creating a special incident spotlight so i want to group uh, for special instance so in spotlight you basically have three things to note you have a spotlight group that you want to create and the spotlight uh, criteria which are basically the conditions that you want uh, for the instance or for any other uh, records that you want and the spotlight job so this job is basically like a data collector which uh, collects the instance for us based on the criteria that you have defined so once you have this you can first need to create a um, group 
uh, and you need to give the indicator so here i'm concentrating on the number of open instance and uh, it's so you can use any other table any other indicator that you want like for example you can use the number of resolved incidents and uh, look at the uh, agents or uh, the assignment group that have been working on that and so that you can uh, try to find the um, key performance performers of the you know assignment group uh, and uh, so basically you can look at the um, people who are performing well and solving the incidents more faster so uh, one of them would be one another use case would be that and today i'm looking at the open incidents and uh, try to focus on spotlight or i mean different criteria that i've defined so the criteria here as you can see i've used uh, prior so and the criteria uh, is of two types basically it's an indicator or it can be a query so for indicator it's basically the predefined indicators or you can have a new indicator that you want and uh, here i've used uh, open instance indicator and uh, my criteria is uh, um, the breakdown as priority is one so it's a critical incidence and uh, the other ones that have created is um, so incidents older than 30 days and incident not updated in a week and the other one i've created is sap incidents so if I'm, i just if i want to concentrate on the incidents that have been uh, in the, of this sap issue i can have uh, this criteria that have been defined and um, uh, you can have other different criteria based on your use case so the other one is uh, texas area so if you want to concentrate on the incidents or cases that comes from a specific location and give them high priority um, so you can have this uh, query uh, which is location is texas and uh, use them in the criteria that you find and once you define the criteria you can also assign weights to them and uh, prioritize accordingly so that uh, so the critical one which is the high priority instance are given the 100 weight and um, and the texas instance are given uh, 60 and uh, if they are not you know uh, updated until 30 days or older than 30 days are given high priority so you can give the weights accordingly and uh, it calculates based on the weights that you define and you can have this threshold value so here uh, any other any defined number so i've given 100 so basically what it does is it uh, tries to uh, calculate a spotlight score for each incident and if a spotlight uh, score uh, crosses this threshold then it uh, puts uh, the incidents into the spotlight group so which helps us to focus on them so once you have the uh, criteria selected you have the spotlight job here so that should um, this is basically a scheduled script execution so you can have a time defined and uh, run them basically at your frequency that you want and uh, when, and the first time that you create you can have the execute now option selected so that uh, it executes them immediately and uh, so this is uh, so that spotlight job is basically a data collector job that collects the instance for you and uh, once you have that you can find them in the spotlight uh, list here and uh, the spotlight group that you've selected and it shows the instance that falls into this uh, criteria and it also assigns a score of to them so basically if the score is above 100 it uh, lists them here so as you can see the score here is 230 and the and you also can see the criteria that uh, this uh, instance falls to so it is uh, the open instance it's not updated in a week and it's older than 30 days and it's a critical incident so yeah so this uh, helps us to find uh, the spotlight uh, and have a focused group of incidents and uh, once you have this you can also add them to a dashboard um, so as you can see here and you can add this dashboard to a home page and uh, you can use it more efficiently and have the list uh, that can and it also um, you know uh, updates frequently on, on real-time basis um, it has the option to show real-time updates here and uh, you can have this and updates it in real time so, so this dashboard that i've created here is basically uh, a combination of reports so this is uh, a report that shows uh, the number of incidents about the spotlight threshold that you've created so this is basically a score type report and uh, that uh, runs on the table uh, the spotlight table that we are that we have here and uh, so as you can see so this is spotlight table and the uh, type is uh, score type uh, chart here and yeah so so this way you can have um, the spotlight of uh, all the things in what place in a dashboard and you can also create instance uh, list that shows the spotlight here um, so as you can see these are the 
incidents that uh, comes into the spotlight group and uh, when you click uh, to the incidents it uh, can get directly go to that incident so this is basically a list type chart that I have created uh, based on the same um, table and uh, I have the filter for that which is comes into the spotlight incident group so yeah so this uh, this is uh, the useful way of having the spotlights and adding them into the dashboard and you also can create interactive filters so with the one filter that i've created here is uh, a, a date type so that uh, it can i can see which ones if you want to concentrate on yesterday new ones and uh, so here the number is not changing but if the numbers are different here it can change according to the filters that you've selected so yeah so this uh, so this way you can create a spotlight dashboard uh, with the criteria that you want and help you focus on uh, you know uh, the criteria that you have defined so that comes to the end of this video so we have talked about our uh, text analytics uh, widget and how to use the text fields on the available on any form or records and uh, you can have a spotlight to focus on uh, specified incidents that you want to work on and yeah so yeah thank you for watching and uh, this is Harshni signing off